What are you doing, lad? You're gonna get killed by ST, bro. Oh shit. <laughs> What is going on guys? Welcome back to yet another car feature. Today Joe has brought down his very, very nice Ford Fiesta ST. Now this has got a few little trick bits on it. It's running high power, around 380 horsepower. Um, so this should be interesting. I've always kind of had an eye on one of these cars. And I'm trying to switch it up in these videos and stay not as much away from Japanese, but try and feature a few more different cars for a variety of people. Um, I used to really, really, I still do like these cars just because they're a little bit common. I've never bought one, but today we're going to go out in this, talk to the owner Joe about a few of the modifications he's done, and uh, have a bit of fun. <laughs> This is the owner Joe, thank you very much for bringing the car down. We're gonna go over first performance mods, then jump onto the handling, and then we're gonna go through some of the nice tasteful things he's done to the exterior of this car. So, starting off with engine bay and performance, running around 380 horsepower. Yeah, about that, yeah. Yeah, so, a few things I wanna ask. Standard engine. Standard engine, So yeah. it's, uh, it's had no forging, etc., etc. no. Et cetera, no. It's all bolt-on stuff. Yeah, all bolt-on, which is something I'm, I've always been drawn to these cars, because they can take a lot of stick, can't yeah. they, for yeah. a standard platform. Like, 1.6 turbo, obviously. Yeah. Um, standard turbo? No, upgraded. Upgraded. Um, it's a X57R. X57R, speed. okay, right. Yeah. And obviously they're mapping. Yeah, so, oh yeah, that's th something we need to say. He's got a couple of Peron and Voodoo sticks on here, but it's actually currently mapped uh, by Puma Speed, so, yeah. So what do you need, roughly, to get these to what yours is done? Roughly, uh, induction kit. Induction kit. So I've got the, the ITG induction kit with the Mishimoto piping. Yeah, in intake pipes. Yeah, um, obviously your crossover, so that's from CE UK. Yeah. Um, you need your upgraded Intercooler, which is okay. my stage three by um, AirTech. AirTech, nice and stuff. Uh, three inch Cobra Venom exhaust system, exhaust nice, system. nice. Yeah. With pop and bang, pop and bang, yeah. Hey. <laughs> you have to be a bit asbo sometimes. Oh, of course you have. <laughs> I've got the, the Symposium Delete by Voodoo. Okay, uh, that's just cabin noise, right? Really, Fair enough. Makes it less droney, I'm assuming. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm not sure actually. No. I've not really noticed anything from putting it in. Something did mention. This was this was a track car, wasn't it? You say it this was, was fully yeah. stripped out, ready to kind of go. Bucket yeah, seats, the lot. Yeah. So what what made you put it kind of back? Uh, well, I've got I've got a little girl. Right. Fair enough. Much, and I've got another one on the way. A couple more responsibilities. Yeah. Right. So fair when, enough. Uh, obviously, in track seats and stuff like that. Yeah. Be, um, obviously, the harnesses and stuff. It's hard to get in and out. Uh -huh. And they didn't have rails where they slid. Right. So, far, so my little one were trying to squeeze yeah, in. Squeeze down, in. Down <laughs> Bless it, it wasn't really practical. So Fair enough. So obviously intake, intercooler, bigger turbo. Anything else to, to get the power out of it? Obviously exhaust as well. Exhaust? Uh, not really, no. I've got a forge. I don't know if it actually does anything or it. I just wanted the, the, the no, Yeah, the, the yeah, turbo yeah. noise. But that's, a, that's a forge. I think it's an atmospheric. I think that's what okay, so it lets off and throws it into the atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Got you. Uh, I think so they're quite easy to get get power out of them. Yeah. Not relatively expensive. Well, I'm not sure on the cost, but sounds like it's not a lot to get kind of the power you, you're running. It's, no, it's it's not really. Would okay. you say you've spent more on yeah. the exterior than you have the engine? No. No. <laughs> Fair enough. Right. No, turbos are expensive. Right. Uh, okay. Mapping's expensive. Yeah. Obviously, your intercooler. That's what five fifty. Is it on its own? Like yeah. 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 Exhaust. You're looking. I think I bought my exhaust for over seven hundred. Was it? Quid. Fair enough. Three inch all the way back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So with them engine mods, what have you got to obviously 
compensate that suspension wise brakes etc uh, suspension wise uh bc coilovers okay oh bc racing coilovers yeah, yeah. so and all like good uh, you just recently strong. put them on as well aren't you yeah loving them yeah brilliant yeah good Absolutely good brilliant. good uh I've got the, the bowlers, don't ask me what they are. I was going to say, I I, I, they are. <laughs> B, I'm going to guess bowler B, is it 12 or something, bowler B12? We could oh, find out, I but we're just, we're filming. I can't, I can't. <laughs> yeah, I can't um, say, standard definitely. size brake calipers, obviously you've just done them yeah. in gold, which suits the car really nicely. Yeah, I do need upgraded brakes. Right, before. upgraded caliper, have you got upgraded yeah. pads in it? Upgraded pads, yeah. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. Uh, upgraded discs? No. No, standard disc, no, right, standard sweet. Disc. Does it stop? I've, I've changed them, obviously, we're saying. Yeah, of course, yeah. Well, as long as it stops, that's the main thing. Oh, yeah, definitely. Anti roll bars and stuff like that, are they all standard at the moment? Yeah, all standard. Yeah, all standard, I just, I fair need enough. To upgrade them, just money in it. Money, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so moving on to the exterior. Quite brave, isn't it? With the, uh, with the, I think it works though. The, the little bits you've done, i.e., the calipers and the pinstriping, I think the, the decals do really work. Obviously, shout out to Delta Styling for, I'm assuming they've helped you with the car a little bit as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Delta, uh, big shout I out work, to them. I work with Delta, yeah, and stuff like that. I went down one day, basically, oh well, I went for the grill, yeah, and stuff. And uh, they basically said, Do you want to wear it with us? And that's, I said, Yeah, happy days for now. now, yeah, sweet, right? We'll start with the front. Because there's a lot, there's a lot going on here. Look, I was, I was, I was in front of you on the way here, yeah. and looking in my rear view, it was a very, very menacing car. <laughs> uh, so we'll start from the top. Vented by Nick Wiley, Definitely. the main man. Yeah, thank Obviously, you. for those OG <laughs> subscribers, the, the you all know I took my courses to him. Absolute legend, that guy. So yeah, big shout out to Nick Wiley. I'll give him a give him a little plug there. If you want bonnet vents, he's the only guy. Uh, yeah, so obviously them for keeping the engine nice and cool yeah. and letting heat out. Yeah. Um, Start from the bottom, Delta styling front splitter, which yeah. I don't, I've not really seen these. This is, which is something I forgot to mention, I like about your Fiesta. Yeah. Because you see a lot of them that are relatively similar, don't you? But obviously yeah. you've got, a, a, we'll cover them in a minute. A few different bits on the exterior, which makes it stand out a bit more. So yeah, Delta styling front splitter with the, what are they called? Strut bars or something? I don't know. It's got rods. Rods, <laughs> screw it, that'll do. Um, obviously you've got your, I'm assuming that one goes to brakes. Yeah, that's that's drilled through the wheel arch, yep. straight to the brakes, and then that uh, one's that straight to the is, filter. Yeah, straight to the filter. Yeah, happy days. Um, the grill, obviously, you said a lot of people, and I've seen them as well, run these. It's Zunsport. 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 Yeah. This one's obviously Delta styling, which I quite like. This, to be fair, it's yeah. uh, it, like I said, different. Yeah, they brought it out last year. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking at Zunsport, and I thought I don't really want something what everyone's got. I like to look different. Yeah in that way yeah so uh, obviously I rang Jane and Cy up who own Delta Styling mm -hmm. and stuff explained about the situation they said oh we're bringing out a new grill yeah so I said oh I'll come down and have a look at it so obviously me and Mrs jumped in car went to have a look yeah um, and I loved it from there yeah I found and it. That, that is that that's what started the whole rest of it weren't it the yeah, grill yeah 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 happy yeah, days I'm like, bet you glad you went yeah definitely <laughs> I think that's the front pretty much done obviously we mentioned the wheels you've got the Mountune mud guards which I quite like I think they suit the car really well um, I'm assuming Delta styling side skirts yeah I yeah. like it they're quite nice them they're like a, they're like extended but then they've got like two parts so I'm, a, I'm like, a fan of them it's like a two piece yeah bit of them. obviously they've, they've chucked their own obviously Delta style, yeah, their own style. They've, yeah, they've chucked their own style out. A lot of people go for TLC and stuff like that. Like, yeah, don't get me wrong, I love look at people's TLCs and stuff like that, but I don't know, it's just a bit, it's more in your face. Yeah, yeah, you know I know what, what you mean. mean. So it's no, a bit I like more it. Bad. Then something I'm a big fan of coming around to the back. This spoiler, I think it's mint. It, it's it's like I can't say I've ever seen one of these. If I'm yeah, honest, that, that's real can't, carbon, I know. Is that real carbon? Yeah. Nice, 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 <laughs> nice. But yeah, definitely a fan of that. I'd, it, obviously, it's adjustable as well. I'm assuming. Yeah, it's adjustable. Yeah, you can move. Just... Reminds me of the Mugen one for for Civics. Yeah. A little bit of adjustment. Yeah, they are. They are really. Um, they are really good with that. To be fair, there's not a lot. of... Well, I don't think there's any other spoiler. Oh, I can't say I've seen one. Like, I've seen a few I mean? few STs like. So you have got full interior as well. It was stripped out at one point. Yeah. Um, Mountain gear knob, yeah. Different sticker on the steering wheel, and I think different badges all the way around. Yeah, of course. Forgot to mention that yeah. different <laughs> different gel inlay badges, which obviously suit it. Yeah. But yeah, I think we've uh, I think we've covered everything. Yeah, pretty much. Should we take it for a take it for a hoon. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's uh, let's take it for a spin. Let's go. I didn't even ask you. 
is this ST123? ST2. ST2 this? Yeah, yeah. Obviously we've got the heated seats on now, which I feel like I've pissed myself. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> like you said. Yeah, definitely. So absolute shout out to Joe. He's brought his GoPro and letting me borrow the SD card quickly, so get some nice outside shots <laughs> of, uh, of driving the car. Yeah, I was going to say, can you turn it on and off then, or is it pretty much? No, it's mapped in. It's mapped in. Yeah, it's mapped in. But you can kind of drive it to suit what you want to do. Like you can cruise, or you can kind of have it on. Yeah, if you drive normally, yeah, it's just a normal road car. It's just, yeah, it's just a normal yeah. car. You know what I mean, you can, yeah. you can actually drive it sensibly and stuff like that. It's not always wanting to. I won't say kill you, but break your head off kind of it's thing. It's a fiesta. It's not good. <laughs> it, it could kill you. Now, to me, it's just crazy what these can make on... Because one thing I was going to ask as well, insurance. What? Because you see a lot of younger people driving these, don't you? Which is a good yeah, thing. Yeah. And obviously, being being a 1.6 turbo, it's not a massive engine, but it's still bigger than your, your normal first car. So yeah. what's, what's insurance like for you? How, how old are you? I'm 24. 24. Yeah, so the insurance is it's really good for me, to be fair. Right. Because I've been driving since I was 17. Yeah. And uh, so... Um, so I've always had the, the advantage of getting more new claims and, and all that, but I don't know. No. Up to now, I think so sure I've never had a, uh, an accident. Never had an accident. So <laughs> I've, I've got, what is it, seven, coming up to eight years, something like that. Right. No claims. But you're looking about about 700 quid. Right, that's not bad. That's yeah. not bad. And that's with all, all declared? Everything declared. Everything declared. Completely, yeah. yeah, see, that's, that's not horrific, is it? No, not at all. really pins you in the seat, doesn't it? It, it picks up quick. Like big time, when, you, when you're up in higher gears, it's proper, you can feel it. Yeah. I love that bang on the gear shift though, that's that's naughty. That's what I want to, I don't like people, no, I say don't like people, I don't like it when I see all these people driving around in obviously Fiestas with a pop and bang on. 24-7, yeah. yeah. It's see, it bang, sounds bang, nice bang, on bang, this, on it suits it, do you know what I mean? Instead of going bang, 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 bang all the time. Yeah. It's just when you want it kind of thing. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, do you know when you put your foot down, it's not stupidly loud, is it? There's yeah. a lot of turbo noise more than exhaust kind of thing, which it's is all, good. It's a lot louder, you know, when, when the seats. Yeah, I can when imagine. Had, when no seats and when you've got when you've got the sport seats and stuff yeah. like that. It's, I don't know, it, it like made the car loud. Yeah, there's not as much pushing in it, was there? Completely different experience. Yeah. But, yeah. No, it sounds spot on I think it just sounds every there's not stupid droney from the exhaust when you're booting it it's not like raspy nice turbo noises I yeah. like it man it's fast as well yeah, it's, <laughs> like, it, it proper put, proper does put you back in your seat doesn't it's, it? it's one of them where you know when you start off with a blank canvas yeah and you think this could be fast this could be nippy yeah and you get to that point where you think I don't really know where to go with it. Yeah. And stuff like that. Then when I went into bigger turbos and the first the first pull I did it with a bigger turbo, you knew where you wanted to be. This is brilliant. This is. <laughs> I, no, I want to go more. I want to go more. Yeah. But it's it's getting into all that money. Do you know with the uh, you know when you're spending all the money on the turbo and all yeah. that. And then when you spend money on a forged engine, yeah. so you're looking. What is it? Four and a half, five grand just for the just for the engine. And is it? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's quite heavy. That, yeah. I've, had, I've had a lot, but it's not really something I want to spend. <laughs> that sounds awful. Yeah. Didn't seem like a, a very long throw. No, it's it's a, yeah, I'll try it. No movement in it, is there? Thank you. Oh yeah, that's nice and notchy in it. There's no to it. I mean, you can get. I think it's a Coolworks. Yeah. Short shifter, 
but they're about 800 quid. Oh, it's like a full assembly. Yeah, they look right. shit out there. Yep. TV mag. Aye. Mm. It's got a little stop in it. No, got to be Alright, so unfortunately the battery died when we got up to the peaks, but we do have the GoPro footage, so uh, we'll try and make something of that. Just thought I'd mention as well, Joe wants me to mention it, this car is actually for sale. Uh, any information that you want me to put on it, about it, I'll just slap it in the description. So if anyone is on the market for a modified Fiesta, this one's for sale. I can vouch for the fact that it's a very nice example and it's bloody quick. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I really like these, I think they're awesome. Um, they've, they've lived up to all the expectations of, uh, I've had of them, uh, being a very fast, fun little car. So yeah, I think that's going to do it. Thank you very much for bringing the car down, mate. Really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, if you did enjoy the video, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace.